seriously? Hey, hey guys, welcome to this unboxing, build and review of the Orkenberg Orc Watchtower with me, 6 Plus Stevo. So, yeah, I've ordered this little beauty. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. Um, ordered this little beauty in the Bits of War Black Friday sale. They were doing 20% off. Uh, it usually retails for £17.41. pence. Um, but I got mine a bit cheaper than that. They were doing some great deals over Black Friday. Um, and uh, so, yeah, here we go. Orc Watchtower. Um, after building this, the um, Dacker Bunker, which Cromlech very kindly sent me free of charge for review on the channel, I was just really impressed. And I was like, I've got to get more of this stuff. So, uh, yeah, I went on there on Black Friday. I bought myself this. And a, another piece, which I'll give you a sneak peek of now, actually, which will be on my next video, Orc Barracks. There we go. We'll save that for the next one. Um, also, they sent me in there this little free sample, which was quite cool. So you get some sort of glyphs and bits in there, which I thought was very cool. But yeah, £17.41 is in my opinion, very reasonable for what is quite a large piece of scenery, actually, and very detailed and looks cool. Um, yeah, I love this as well. Um, on it approved. Um, no goblins were harmed during the production of these models. Very cool. Uh, large orc watchtowers are commonly built at the outskirts of orc towns and strongholds. They sport two or more armoured decks on various heights and despite its name, usually serve as a good firing point for orc troopers rather than observation post. Cool. And it also says there that it is easy to build and takes a couple of hours. The last one, the Dacker Bunker, was rated three, uh, moderate. So, and it, it was, it went together fairly easily, really. Um, there was a few tricky bits on it. Um, but that was, just came f more from lack of experience at working with MDF kits. So with this one, I've, I've gained a bit of experience now building one kit, so I kind of know what to expect. But anyway, let's get this bad boy open and see what we get in the kit. Let's take a look and I'm really looking forward to building this actually because I had a lot of fun building the Dacker bunker so we've got a front sheet out there we'll get that out of the way and then we've got our instructions now the instructions for the Dacker bunker were very good um, but there was a couple of bits on there that I felt were sort of listed in the wrong order and if you'd built it exactly the way they said I think you would have run into a few problems or well, I certainly would have anyway um, showing some of their new scenery here the industrial the industrial mechanicum sector this stuff looks really cool love this piece necromunda and stuff um, yeah looks awesome uh, yeah, and so here we go with the instructions you see all color coded and listed quite helpfully so yeah as suspected looks like you build the sort of main struts and structure of it first then add the floor plates and sort of build up from there so yeah it looks like it should be fairly simple you get a lot more sprues in this one than you did with the dacker bunker um, it's a bit of a bigger bit so you get some of these thicker sprues which is good because you get them in different thickness so these are obviously the sort of that give the structure its strength. That's sort of. So you've got those bits. It's the main structure itself. And as you can see, all the sprues are, are clearly marked, and then everything's numbered. So it's very easy to find the piece you're looking for when you come to building it. This looks like most of the sort of wall panels and the floor panels. Now you've even got sort of details mech scratched into it be great for when you come to sort of dry brushing and stuff that should pick out that they do work quite a cool bit of detail in these got some glyphs here that decorate it 
quite a few actually. I don't know, we'll see when I come to building it actually if uh, any of these are optional, if you get to choose between the different heads or they all go on there. I love this. Power! <laughs> cool. Uh, <laughs> boys only. Controversial. That's the big floor plate, I think. I imagine. And look, this is the great sort of level of detail and bits you get in there. Even the chains. The chains I'm slightly concerned about because it's going to be very hard to make those chains look realistic. They're going to look very sort of 2D, I think. Um, but uh, there, is, there is slight limitations to what you can do with MDF. But uh, I love this. I can't wait to get building this. This looks really, really cool. So as you can see, yeah, you get a lot of sprues. And there's the last one. More DACA. Hell yeah. Always need more DACA. So there we go, guys. That's it unboxed. Um, I'm going to go away now, get this thing built, and come back to you with a full review and share my thoughts on it. And there we are, um, a day later, uh, not because it took me that long to build, um, because I sort of I did it last night and then uh, saved the recording of it for this morning. Um, but yeah, he is finished, and I think you'll agree, quite an impressive looking model. There is a lot of detail on this thing, as you can see as well. It's, oh. <laughs> I was about to say it's quite a sturdy kit, but um, don't know that for you. That is only because I didn't glue that bit in because I wanted to keep the, what, the sort of uh, tower bit separate just for painting and stuff. And also, I was thinking in game terms, because as you can see from the top, you've got the sort of space. Oh, this is going really well. Uh, let me put that down for a minute. So, yeah, you can see you've got the space here. So I thought, actually, when you're trying to fit your troops on there, it might be better sometimes to remove this, um, but keeping it on there, it, it adds to the model, it adds to the height of it. You can ins you can see the height of this thing is uh, pretty impressive. Actually, I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to do a bit of a size comparison. Um, so, let's take down Killer Can nearby. That should give you some sense of scale of this thing. It's pretty big. Now, you couldn't fit a killer can up there. Not that you'd ever be able to, of course, but just for demonstration purposes. We've got some mega knobs. So, I'm going to see if I can fit a unit of mega knobs up here. I can hear the uh, structure of the uh, watchtower bending under the strain so it looks like can't quite so yeah this is for predominantly I'd say the 28 mil and 35 mil bases so sort of uh, things like space marines orcs and stuff should get up there fine tell you what let's do a little test with some orcs uh, we got some orc boys we can pop in there. And these are on the 28mm bases. So yeah, as you can see, you could fit quite a few boys on here. So as that we got seven on there at the moment. Easily spaced for ten, so you could have quite a large squad of looters in this watchtower. That'd be the ideal unit to put in there, or a unit of tank busters maybe. They could pose some threat in a watchtower. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boys there. So yeah, about a ten man squad is your limit. Um, you probably could fit 10 on, th you know, the 
five mil bases. Um, so I think, yeah, I still think you could fit ten on there. Um, but obviously, if you did remove that bit, then you could fit a couple more. But uh, I've got to say, I'm really impressed with this kit. It is, uh, it's been great fun to build. It didn't take me very long, actually, and as suspected, it took me a lot less time than the DACA bunker did. But, however, I think most of that was from inexperience and making a couple of errors along the way. But because of the experience of building that one, this one, I kind of knew what to expect, so I just cracked straight on with it. I kind of... You kind of instinctively kind of know what parts you're going to be starting with, and... Uh, once you've had a bit of experience with building certain types of kits. And this just followed much the same. So we built the structure first. These are just four big bits, solid bits. You connect those all together, glue them up, that makes your structure. And then you build your platform here and your platform there. And these platforms, as you may have noticed, have full ladders. Uh, this ladder, like I said, also, it's not glued on yet. That was probably the most intricate part to build. It's just two straight bits and then all the ladder steps that you just slot in and glue into place. All goes together fairly easily. And there is even another one inside for the little platform. See, they thought of everything. So it's just the tower at the top and the two ladders I've left unglued at the moment. And that's purely because I think it'll be easier to paint this in sub assemblies but yeah as you can see it all slots together quite easily um, I've added as well you get some optional details these bits are great and the boys only sign they're all optional bits as is this chain that's stuck hanging down the side there it just adds a bit of uh, you know that ragtag orky feel to it you've got so many good details like the scratch marks on the wall like it looks like a jean stealer or something it's been clawing its way to the top um, you've got some bullet holes and you see all the rivets and stuff it's very cool very cool indeed and also I did actually end up with a few spare bits which uh, I'll take a look at now we have got this bit which is one of the optional bits to stick around it somewhere um, and I really like this bit, the only reason I didn't put it on is because it's really really fragile um, and sticking it, there was nowhere where I could stick it that I was really happy that it would be safe and not get easily broken because it's really thin this but so cool sort of graveyard gate I've got a couple more chains like a hanging one there off a hook which I almost used, but again, for the same reasons, just because of it being a little bit delicate. And also, I wanted to save a few bits, because I think these would be fun to use on other terrain pieces. Um, I also kept two of the skull motifs. You get three skulls and a pair of crossed swords for use on the top bit. And all four of them are actually supposed to go on there, one on each side of it. But as you can see, I've only used two. I used the skull on that side left it bare for the middle and then the crossed swords on the other and uh, I don't know I just thought it looked okay like that I don't think it needed them all the way round and it gave me an excuse to keep them to one side for future conversion projects because these could not just for terrain either these I think that would be great stuck to the front of say a looted land raider or something um, you've got this big leering skull saying power on it as it trundles towards you with its death roller um, and lots of little bits like this, little. Get the camera to focus on that. Little like skull for a, I don't know, a thing, <laughs> a spike. And then this is lots of little uh, spike bits or rivets in. But also, out of the sprue, you end up with a load of unintentional spares. That's just a small sampling of them. And these are just all the bits that you pop out of various sprue bits. So that's not actually a part. But as you can see from the sort of shape and stuff, and the, I think a lot of this stuff, especially the little bits, especially some of these jagged bits, 
it would be great as just sort of battlefield debris um, and who knows save up enough of all these various bits might be to construct some kind of terrain or something out of these there's certainly potential there so yeah very cool um, would I recommend it for the price definitely um, at £17.41 this is a really really cool piece of terrain it's got some serious height to it it just looks quite imposing it's a great firing platform it's gonna make any orc board look really cool and already you can see now my orc terrain starting to build up with the barracks it's all just gonna tie in quite nicely together it looks really cool so yeah um, I would recommend it highly highly recommend it as would I the Dacker Bunker um, and on my next unboxing and review we will find out if their next kit is just as good because I am going to be building the Orc Barracks also from Tabletop Scenics and I'm very very excited about that I really want to see what this thing looks like built so anyway guys um, if you want to watch that ding the bell icon um, if you haven't already please subscribe hit that like button all of the above really really helps me out and uh, makes it great fun and possible to make these videos so thank you guys six plus Steve-O signing out